Hola beautiful people, it's your girl, Miss Amazing, so amazing, and welcome back to the tea party, my little teacups. This is another episode of What's the Tea. I am giving you guys a break from the show reboot, <laughs> the show reboot information and all the things that I'm watching because I came across a clip on The Real and um, it was basically talking about friendship breakups and how people don't talk about the, the trauma or, sorry, got a little stuffy nose. It's not the Omarion, it's not the Omarion. But people don't discuss like the trauma, the the heartbreak, or the things that people have to deal with after a friendship breakup. These things are real people and we're gonna get into it. So a couple of weeks ago, I was watching a reel and it was a viewer's choice episode where like the viewers basically wrote in or tweeted in or Instagrammed in what they wanted the, the the ladies of the world to talk about during girl chat so one of the viewers were saying how she was out at an event and a, f a person somebody who she used to be friends with was also there and she kind of felt weird about being there with the friend well with the old friend and it wasn't because it was like oh i missed that friend or more so oh um i want to be friends with them again it was just more like you are in the same sp space with somebody who you haven't seen in a while i'm assuming that she hasn't seen the girl in a while and it's like all these memories come back of good and bad and it's like it can fuck with your psyche a little bit sometimes if you are like that person who's into their friendships yeah. okay so let's just break it down some people may not even understand what a friendship breakup is i feel like there's a friendship breakup and then there's like a friendship break i feel like a friendship breakup is something that goes on within the friendship whether it's you doing it or the per the other person doing it that you just cannot get over like it just whatever the conversation is or whatever the situation is you're always going to think back in your head like i cannot fuck with this person that's more so like a friendship breakup a friendship break is something that happens that is just like i just need a break from this person for a little while let me get myself together let them get themselves together and then we can re reconvene later sometimes they don't reconvene sometimes they do it just depends on the severity of the situation because you know speaking from experience your girl done been through some motherfucking breakups okay i got ptsd on friendship breakups so just to give you guys an idea of where i'm going with this I'll take it back to one of my first friendship breakups. And it's so crazy because two of these people that was in a situation with me are still, to this day, like two of my closest friends that I've grown up with. So this is goes out to you ladies. Shakisha, Danny, I love you ladies. Y'all my niggas. Okay, um, Simone, you my nigga too. It is what it is. Um, but when we were younger, we were like the, the destiny's child of the block, right? You never saw one without the other three. Like, that's just how it is. To the point where when we did go through our friendship breakup, it was like hot topics on the block. Like, it is so funny that Latoya and Latavia had just left Destiny's Child too. What a connection. Back then, you couldn't tell me that this was the end all be all. Keisha and Danny went they way, me and someone went our way, and that's actually how I ended up having more friends on the other side of town than my block. Because once that happened, it was like, I have to see these girls all the time, they live here. Like, if I go to the Chinese restaurant, I know they're gonna be there because we eat the same thing around the same time. If I wanna go outside and hang out, they're gonna be there. We all hang out in the same spot. So it's like, I wanna see these hoes, these hoes don't wanna see me, and I ended up getting some friends on the other side of town i love y'all jasmine gay um but that's how people started thinking i was from the other side of town because of friendship breakup okay but you know just to bring it back because you know i get off tangent a lot guys we ended up talking it out fighting it out arguing it out and to this day those are my lovely ladies so that's what i would consider a friendship breakup we went through mad shit you know um, we done talked about each other. Listen, I was the skinny girl of the group, okay? So they used to call me olive oil, and they used to be really mean to me. Yeah, I'm calling y'all out. I'm telling y'all business. But anyway, but a friendship breakup, like, 
uh, I didn't really go through any of that until I got older. Because, like, my friends from high school, we've had friendship breaks. Those who don't, no. Those who don't, don't. Hell, me and Lady had a friendship break. Nobody even knows that. And that's my motherfucking best friend, okay? We go through shit and we come back. But breakups, I done had a couple of those too. Because I don't understand why people try to assassinate my character in order to make themselves feel better. Let me not go off on tangent again. But anyway, that's basically something that you just can't get over. And that's that. So here are some steps that I think will help get over your friendship breakup trauma or whatever you may want to call it. Like, I've learned to delete pictures. Y'all know me. I take pictures, videos of any and everybody, of myself, those around me, whatever. So if we go through a friendship breakup, I am deleting your pictures. Bye. See you later. If we go through a friendship break, those pictures and videos are definitely still on my phone. They will stay there until I know for certain that this friendship is over, okay? I have unfollowed or deleted people on Facebook. Not so much on Instagram because, I mean, Instagram is Instagram. Now, if you unfollow me, then I'm going to unfollow you. And I know when people unfollow me because I'm one of those people who check shit. I like to check. I like to make sure, see what my status is, what's happening. Secondly, don't shy away from the subject. People are going to inquire. They're going to ask questions. They're going to make jokes, whatever. You speak your truth, whatever that truth may be. I don't speak to this person because such and such and such. This person doesn't speak to me because of such and such and such. We don't speak to each other because of such and such and such. Whatever your truth is, you express that and you keep it pushing. Don't disrespect the situation. Don't shut down because then people are going to start to question you and your character and how you decide to handle it. A situation when asked about it so i feel like if you just stay true to yourself true to what you feel like your truth is in the situation then it should be no problem with you discussing it or talking about it when somebody inquires about it that's just adulting and that's life lastly i would really evaluate is this my fault is it this person's fault? Like, generally break down the situation as you see it in your head. How could it gone differently? If you feel that it's your fault and the person deserves an apology, be an adult. Reach out, give the person that apology. If you feel it's their fault, you cannot expect an apology because that person may not feel it's their fault. You just have to take it as, take it as it is and keep it pushing. Because... That person may not want to come around and apologize. That person may not feel that it is their fault and or feel they need to apologize. So sometimes you have to really evaluate the situation, the pros, the cons, your part in it, their part in it, and you come to your own conclusion and how you go about it will be how you go about it. But sometimes you just got to let things go. Okay, my little teacups, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you, Jesus, because I know it's going to be either really long because a bitch done been through some shit or really short because I don't feel like telling y'all all my business. And if I did, I ain't got that much space on my phone because we'd be here for hours. <sighs> Anywho, I just want to end this video by stating if it does not apply, let it fly. Miss Amazing, over and out.